In this video, I want to talk about how you sell a high ticket product. Now, in essence, the process of selling high ticket products isn't all that different from selling anything else. You identify the problem, suggest a solution, stress the benefits to the customer, emphasize the value for money, provide social proof and add an element of scarcity or exclusivity. But really, what separates out selling a high ticket product from anything else are basically those last four items. Stressing the benefits, emphasizing the value for money, providing social proof and adding an element of scarcity or exclusivity. Let me explain what I mean. Let's talk about the benefits to the customer. Well, first of all, they're paying you a lot of money, so these benefits had better be good. So you need to have something that is better, quicker, more efficient, longer lasting, or less hassle than a lower priced product. You know, you have to be something that is very, very good. And you also want to appeal to their emotions as well as to their logical side when you're trying to stress the benefits of buying your high price product compared to a cheaper product from a competitor. So, for example, envy is a powerful emotion. So let's say you're selling a stock market day trading course you could emphasize the lifestyle that customers would live and you could play on the fact that buyers won't have a lengthy commute and they'll get plenty of leisure time. So you could have a nice picture like this and the caption, you know, let's face it, wouldn't you rather be here than stuck in traffic right now? When it comes to emphasizing the value for money, one way to do it is to emphasize the quality that you know they are really getting good quality in return for their money or the long lasting effects for example you often see uh, a high price point justified by saying this will pay for itself many times over because although you're paying something now you will actually save in the long run and another thing that people use to emphasize the value for money is exclusivity. You know, exclusivity is actually a very powerful way of making sure that people will pay more just for the exclusivity of having something that other people don't have. And then there's social proof. And this can be very important when you're selling a high ticket item. And you can provide social proof in the form of testimonials and in the form of endorsements. And these endorsements can come from individuals or they can come from organizations. And, you know, this is actually very, very powerful stuff. You know, as human beings, we are often fond of going along with the herd. And if you can find that other people or other organizations have uh, said that this particular product is worth the money you'll find other people who might be perhaps on the fence about you know should I or shouldn't I get it will be more inclined to make the decision to buy so if you have somebody saying something like I bought this product and it's worth every penny that I paid for it then that's going to be quite powerful especially if there's someone who's well known especially if they are a, a leader in the field or a leader in your niche and likewise, if you can join forces with an organization to get an endorsement, the fact that they say we recommend this to our members is going to go a long way when it comes to um, persuading people to buy the higher priced offering rather than a cheaper, lower priced offering. You can also add an element of scarcity or exclusivity, like I talked about earlier on. And this is sometimes known as the snob appeal USP. And you could say something like, you know, only 100 places are available at this never to be repeated seminar. The implication being that you know, you're a privileged person to be just one of these 100 people. Or similarly, I'm making this offer available to a select group of my most successful customers. So you've been selected, you've been picked out, you're 
special, you're different, only a small percentage of my customers are going to get this, you know, you're privileged, it's appealing to their, you know, to the snob appeal, really. Or just 250 copies of this fat-filled guide will ever be printed. And so that's, you know, exclusivity. You could be one of the 250 people in the world. You know, you're going to be in a very small elite group. And therefore, you know, you're going to have to pay for the privilege, but you're going to be very, very uh, special person uh, to be able to get one of these copies. Yeah, you know, that that's the sort of thing that that's the sort of thing that often appeals and often is used as a justification for charging a high price point for something. Now, when it actually comes to uh, the actual sales process, it is fairly straightforward. Uh, you want to use a sales page online. You want to generate leads and then you want to follow up. Now. As far as getting traffic to a sign-up page is concerned, sometimes approaching people offline is a good way of enhancing the value of a high-ticket product. Now, for example, a few weeks ago, a well-known marketing guru sent me a letter inviting me to apply for a coaching course. Now, the fact that it came to me in the mail got my attention, and that as I was just saying, sets that apart. That partially appeals to the, you know, the snob value USP. Also, closing the deal in person or over the phone, instead of having people click a buy now button, also emphasizes the fact that the customer is paying a lot and should expect a lot, or at least some attention to detail, in return. And this marketing guru who sent me the information in the mail, when I went to his website, I could see that he wanted me to fill in name, address, email, etc., and the phone number. And so presumably he intended to contact me by telephone to see if I was the right sort of person to be part of his course and then to close the deal in person over the phone. So there you go, just a few ways to sell high-ticket products that are perhaps slightly different from selling ordinary run-of-the-mill low-priced products.